Hey guys, so today I wanted to do kind of a heart to heart video or just something I've kind of experienced in the last couple of weeks regarding um, just people and my relationships with people. Um, I think judging people is something we all do. I do it, you do it, everyone does it. I think we all have different varying levels of judgment, but we all do judge people, right? And it's fine because it, it's kind of a human instinct to see someone, put them in a certain category based on either a stereotype or an experience you've had previously or something like that. But I think the danger is, is that when we judge people, or the danger is when we judge people and we leave it to that and we don't take any kind of other initiative to get to really know them for who they are. Um, because although we might be in a certain kind of flavor or category of things, we each are all individuals and have different characteristics of why we do something or different factors of why we do something that other people don't have and you can't immediately see that by a superficial characteristic like you know, appearance or race or any kind of social and economical status, right? Um, I find that a lot of times when you are quick to judge people, you will miss out on a lot of great people in the meantime because you make an assumption too quickly or you take a mistake someone has made and put that one little mistake and you know place that blame on their whole character and you sometimes might miss out on some really great people but then again life is too short to put up with people who um, give you like a bad impression or leave a sour taste in your mouth right so yeah that's my kind of judgment thing um, I kind of just started, I started thinking about this judgment thing because it is really scary for me to have like this YouTube channel because I am putting myself out there and I'm willing to expose myself and be judged by complete strangers who don't know me and I will get messages and I will get comments about things. Um, there are a lot of positive comments and messages and I'm really, really happy about all the positivity that has come through this YouTube channel, but there's also been, you know, here and there some, some negative things and it does hurt a little bit, especially if it's pinpointed to something I'm really insecure about. Um, I think I've always been a little bit insecure about my passion with beauty products and with fashion and with just these kind of superficial girly things because it's something that people don't take seriously and I'm a person who is really afraid of not being taken seriously. Um, I'm not like a control freak or anything but I I want to be I don't, I don't just want to be that silly little Asian girl who just like talks about makeup all day, right? Like I don't want to be known for that. And, um, but, but at the same time, I'm really passionate about it. And so this YouTube thing is a way for me to kind of live this passion in almost like a private place, right? Because my friends don't know about it. My coworkers don't know about it. Really no one knows about this. And, um... I think, I, I was watching Juicy Star 07's video about how she was making these YouTube videos and she got bullied at school um, from that and had to kind of leave school and become homeschooled after that and I just, I kind of really connected with her because it's just like, you're just really afraid of what people will make out, what, what people will think of you once you do this. Um, just to give a little bit of background about why I decided to get into YouTube and to, to do this, I, I think this YouTube channel has been such a helpful way in terms of me just relieving stress, in terms of me doing something that is purely for no reason other than the fact that I love to do this. I have no motivation otherwise than just the love to do this. Um, I kind of started with um, a breakup that happened, but it was a little, I mean, I still loved YouTube and I had my channel before the breakup happened, but I think I kind of got more into it once 
It happened because it was a way for me to kind of go back to doing what I really loved. Or YouTube and makeup was a way for me to go back to doing what I really loved. And after, you know, someone breaks up with you, you feel really rejected and you feel kind of ugly. And you just don't know what's wrong with you and you try to, you internalize it and you just, you just don't feel good about yourself, right? And so learning new makeup, learning new foundation, learning new techniques to put on eyeshadow, all that stuff helped me feel so much better about myself and my appearance. Um, it gave me kind of the confidence I needed to just put myself back together and go out there and do what I want to do, you know, like, and, and continue on with my life. Um, I just remember there were days where I would feel so stressed or so angry and the best thing for me to do was to go on and watch someone's haul video because it was just, it was so comforting and relaxing. I don't know why because it's just, it's like, it's like haul videos, it's like Christmas, Christmas day, you know, open up all these packages and you can vicariously pretend you have these products through this person. Um, and so that really helped me get through it. Um, and I still, you know, use YouTube as a way to relieve stress, as a way for me to just watch something that has nothing to do with work or any kind of anything relating to stress and just it just makes me really happy, you know. Going out and buying a new MAC lipstick makes me happy and then looking for it on YouTube or talking about it or sharing my passion with you about it makes me happy. It, it calms me. It, it's something I love. Makeup for me, it's not, it's not like some big insecurity or whatever. I could go without wearing makeup. I have in several of my videos not worn any makeup, but the fact of putting it on and kind of creating a persona that you want to create for that day is so much fun. And I really want to share with you guys kind of what I've learned from that and and um, what I've learned from that and just keep doing it regardless of what people think. So I guess my whole conclusion to this video that didn't really have a point but I just wanted to kind of put out there was just don't be so quick to judge people uh, based on certain things. And um, I think instead of judging, I think we should be more curious. We should be more inquisitive about someone else. You know, why are they doing this? Why are they a little bit different from me? Instead of just thinking, well, they're not doing what I'm doing, so obviously something's wrong with them, right? Like they're not, they're not with the mainstream group, so something must be wrong with them. Just, just take a step back and think, why? Like, just be curious and think and think why are they are they being this way and that might help promote more understanding and more communication among among people and on their differences and I think that a lack of really communication and understanding is, is the root cause of all problems in this world um, you know hatred wars um, all that you know all these like terrible things that happen in this world result from people judging other people too quickly thinking that they're wrong and I'm right and just doing bad things as a result of that but if we take a step back and try to understand people and not be so quick to make judgments I think the world could be a little bit of a better place so those are my two cents and um, I hope you guys like this video and I hope I get really deep thoughtful comments based on it because that that's really what makes me happy is to read my inbox and see people write things that come from the heart like that's that's really great so thanks guys have a great friday bye